I've been told by so many parents how they feel welcome and wanted here at Arab Yaakov. And let me let out a secret tonight. That is exactly how we feel about them. Starting any Maisid in Klai Yisrael is a tremendous challenge. Kolos Kolos Kosha, as Achazal tells us, is, as Rebuin Feinstein has told me many times, that the Abishter wants to make sure we mean business. Why is not the Beis Yankiv going to do in, in Lakewood? You have enough Baruch Hashem, big schools, little schools. What do you need another one for? The option that you have is that to produce that all good, good, good girls are not all of them the best in the world. All the good is and all the good is a school that's dedicated to help all kids and to reach a madrege, their madrege that's necessary, and that their madrege will then build a family in that madrege. This is a unique chinuch. This is chinuch where every single child gets the chinuch that she deserves. This is unique because it's individual. This is unique because it's being mechanic children. The old way we used to be mechanic kids. I've heard from Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky that he said that there was, he was learnt in Slavotka and he said one major mila that Slavotka had is that it wasn't a, what he's called, it wasn't a cookie cutter yeshiva. I believe that Beis Yaakov Western Mammoth County is something that's doing this service of Slavotka of old to help them not just they have to fit in, they're trying to use the girls' strong points and bring out the best in them. I was looking for a school for my daughter Shoji and um, a friend of mine told me that it was a really good school that's moving from Friel to Lakewood and it'd be a really good opportunity for Shoshi. So made a phone call to Rabbi Sher. He said he'd be glad to help her thrive and, and help her grow in school and it was as simple as that. There's a sense of love and acceptance. There's a sense of being in an environment where people are happy to be together where they accept each other's little differences and nuances. And that's great. And there's an excitement and a fervor to learn about Hashem and about Yiddishkeit. And that foundation is what this Space Yankov is all about. She's so excited to, to do her work and excited to go to school. I think it's just unbelievable between all the teachers and Mrs. Levy and Rabbi Sher, how they keep that environment, the, the, the kids, to always be happy and, and feel good about themselves. Our daughter is thrilled. We are so happy that she's there. She is animated, she loves it, she comes home from school, she's happy. She talks about her moras. Her moras are everything. And we just can't be happier than that. Uh, she's learning Torah, she's learning Midos. The whole school is like one big family. from uh, Staten Island. It's worth uh, all the time and effort and uh, inconvenience, but it's a great place and it's worth it all. She's doing very well. Shabbos, she's always excited to say her Dvar Torah. And the Dvar Torah her teacher prepares is always, always has a very good lesson, a good story. We at Beis Yaakov are fortunate to have Mrs. Levy on staff. In my first conversation with her, she tells me, in over 25 years of being in a hellas, I've never met a chutzpah to a child. My daughter's eyes light up when she talks about her moras. She adores them. And that makes the learning so much more alive and makes it go into her bloodstream and makes it part of her. The girls come to school every day. They feel that there's a place that they're happy, they're comfortable, they're safe. The current uh, student and teacher ratio makes it a wonderful place for the children to grow and to get a, more of a connection to the teachers, being that there's so much that the teacher's able to give to that amount of girls. 
and it makes that the girls are not just another name in the teacher's role book, but they take up another, a place in the teacher's heart. They're cut and guttle year. Right now, it's probably the, one of the best kept, kept secrets in Lakewood. People don't know about this mice, but there's a mice that develops your child. Real Torah is when you care about somebody else's kid. And this school, this yeshiva, this base Yankif, they care about everybody's kids. I can't tell you how many stories, so many instances of parents speaking so highly of the way that they are treated in the school with such respect and such love and the children it shines through, through the entire staff. It, this, the school has a tremendous mahalach with showing an ava towards all Jewish children. And, and that's the way it should always be. And that's the way it is over here in, in this space. There's no question in my mind that with continued Tzat Shmaya, this beautiful um, yeshiva, although it's small now, will grow into be one of the uh, um, hallmarks of Lakewood and Torah Bechlam. Every girl has a mokim in this life, though maybe she create her for a reason, that she has a tachlis in this world. We have to give each kid a child the ability to reach that tachlis. This is the Bishyakov's mission, to touch every child, every one of our Talmudas, and enable them to grow and to leave over a legacy that one day they'll have Enoch Lech, When we have people like Rabbaruch and Moistis HaTayra, that want to do for all children, then there is no problem. That's what Kedusha Yisrael and Torah is all about. To take children, teach them, mechazik them, to make the Benos Yisrael that you are creating. Ashrecha the Ashrei Chalkecha.